All right, thanks, Kevin. This morning, we have a very special guest in the Eating Insects Detroit Conference is actually underway. And so we have invited the bug chef. He's a author and obviously a chef, David George Gordon, and he's going to whip up a bug dish. And uh, I think I'm going to eat it. I hope you're going to eat yeah, it. Yeah, yeah. Well, we'll see how all that works <laughs> out here. But, uh, Chef, good morning. Why do I want to eat bugs? You know, bugs are fabulous foods. They're actually the food of the future. Rich in really? protein, lots of vitamins and minerals, omega-3 fatty acids. Those are the good ones. Uh, all sorts of good stuff. Micronutrients. And they're abundant. There's no shortage of bugs in our You're world. You're doing a hell of a job selling. I don't know that I'm buying though, but I'm oh. gonna let you do your thing. Well, you know, if it wasn't tasty, I wouldn't serve it. So. You are a chef. That's right. So you, you've written a book about this, specializing in in preparing such delicacies. How have things changed? Is it is it more embraced now? This is, this is, this is <laughs> There's the book my I'm book. About. It's called is the this, Eat a Bug Cookbook. Is it more embraced now? I mean, is oh this yeah. You know what? I have to tell you, when I wrote this book, which was in 1998. Uh, I'd be on a show like this, no one would want to eat anything. It was like, bring the cameraman or whatever, yeah. the student intern. Now I get people lining up. I was on the James Corden Late, late Show with James Corden. The band was even coming over and eating Well, bugs. those band guys, they're, they're, they're yeah, crazy. Yeah, that's true. I don't know about meteorologists. They may not be that crazy. Keenan, you game? Uh, sure. Wait until wait until they're sure. done before you make up your mind. Yeah, that's right. So what, what are they wrong? Yeah, what, what are we making here? Let's, let's, well, let's get this I'll cooking. tell you. Just plain old peppers in here. That's boring, but true. We got a shot of that, yeah. And then in here, I have small grasshoppers from Mexico. They're called chapalines, and they're marinating in teriyaki. So they're sauce. imported. They're 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 tastier. Yeah, I actually the get these in L.A. Okay. You know, go to East L.A. and go to a market from Oaxaca, and pick them up there. Well, lucky for you, I'm adventurous, and I do know that cicadas are apparently related to the shrimp. Yeah, well, you know, all People the bugs eat, are yeah. closely related to shrimp and lobsters and crabs. So these so, are delicious. That's right. Okay. I wouldn't serve it if it wasn't good. Right. So, so how do we get these going in case I want to make these for my barbecue this yeah, weekend? Yeah, that's right. And you can see it's not going to take a lot of time. I'm just going to skewer some peppers. All right. You know, presentation is important. You eat with your eyes first, I've Exactly. Learned. That's right. So we want to make sure it looks are... good, too. And okay. then we're just going to skewer some of these grasshoppers. Now, do you like gut years. these first? Because I've stepped on grasshoppers and I don't like what's inside of them. No, these have been these are dried and roasted and seasoned in Mexico, so there's no no goo in them. And ag again, imported uh, grasshoppers, right. nothing but the best for TV20. That's right. Let's put one on the grill just so we can see we've done. Our it. producer Jesse Williams wanted one as well. Um, oh yeah, well we'll make several. Yeah, Jesse, he's got you covered. Just want to make sure that's hot. There we go. Let's make another one. Really now, the food right of the here. future, it would seem uh, that you would have to eat a whole lot of these. I got a hearty appetite. Well, they I mean. say pound for pound uh, grasshoppers are about the same amount of protein as lean ground beef. So if you have a quarter pound of uh, hamburger, you better get a quarter pound of grasshoppers and you'll be just the same. And none Bruce, of that. Uh, one of our uh, uh, stagehands, he wants one as well. Oh, good. Well, if time permits, yeah. let's make a bunch. Yeah, I'm, let's do it. I'm moving as fast as I can. Uh, the other thing is, you know, at uh, Wayne State, there's a, a uh, kind of an industrial showcase tonight from 7 to 9 o'clock, and the public is welcome to go to that. So, I mean, let's say I want to start eating bugs more often. Mm -hmm. Where do you get them from? You know, I have a whole list in the back of my book where you can order things online. I usually tell people don't go out and collect from the... That was your, my next question. From your garden, because somebody's probably using pesticides, and you don't want to eat them then if they've been eating the, yeah, you the want bug all killings. You, you want all natural bugs. Yeah, that's hammering. right. Exactly. Free ranging. Free range bugs. But okay. also, there are a couple of companies now, like one in Austin, Texas, that makes organically raised crickets for human consumption. Really? What do these taste like? Please oh, gosh. Yeah. <laughs> I think they taste like bugs. Yeah. Actually, they have a very, they have a, they have a very, very uh, mild shrimp-like flavor. See, now them. you're selling. I mean, when yeah, you said right. they taste like bugs, that, that, that didn't do it for me. That's but shrimp, right. I like shrimp. Yeah, exactly. Okay. And actually, the crickets, if you just microwave them very briefly, they taste like shrimp chips. If you've ever had those, like in a... Asian grocery store. Yeah, they, Keenan, uh, shrimp chips is what we're getting ready to eat. Just keep telling yourself yes. that. Uh, the uh, fair is this weekend. The, uh, uh, no, actually, you know what? There's a conference now at Wayne State. And it's it a conference. Keenan, just in case you want to go this weekend, I, I know you uh, tonight. are looking for something to do. So that is tonight. It is a Vendors Expo, and it is uh, free and open to the public, 7 until 9 o'clock. That's right. Bon and appetit. 
So he almost lost it me matics. when you asked how does it taste, and he said it right. tastes like insects. Right. I like, know. Okay. Don't <laughs> tell me it tastes like a bug. Right. Well, we're yeah, going right. to try these in a little bit, Keenan. So I hope your uh, palate is prepared or cleansed or whatever you have to do prior to eating grasshoppers. That's right. Uh, yeah. Go okay. Ahead. Well, where's the liquor? <laughs> this one, do you have anything uh, to drink? Any alcohol? You or? know, I did not bring anything. It's a little early in the day for me. Not for me. <laughs> oh, well, there you go. Uh, <laughs> Malcolm's like, oh, not yeah, be good. Thank like, you. Uh, you know, you know the appropriate.